way, but we're making it again because it was delicious and we want to show people how to do it. Uh, this is taken from an article on the Defector blog uh, by the guy who used to write Food Spin, which is also amazing. The recipe was kind of a story, so... <laughs> we extracted what we could from we, it and have... <laughs> yeah, and it seems to have worked out well. So, I'm going to start by prepping some food. Uh, the recipe calls for onions, but I used the onion yesterday, so we're going to be doing shallots. Shallots are a great uh, substitute. substitute for onion. In fact, Jesse doesn't do well with some types of onions, so shallots are usually what we end up doing. You don't need to cut things up fine for this recipe. Just Rough cuts, honestly, will work pretty well. So, like, I'm cutting these shallots into fourths, and that's going to be just fine for them. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> so clever. Actually moving the food so that I don't have a... Uh, stuff in my way. This recipe uh, does take a while. Not the actual prep, just the you have to let it simmer for two hours after you put it all together. Which is part of, you don't have to cut that when it's time. I do, do want to cut it just in half. It'll break up easier or better that way. Which is part of what makes it delicious. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> I was wondering how long you would put up with that for. <laughs> it's longer than I expected. I'm going to brush off mushrooms while I do yes. that because they are slightly dirty. I'm stuck. There we go. There. I would like one or two of the mushroom stalks if, if you don't mind breaking off another one or two of those. Yes. Yeah, he likes raw mushrooms because he's weird. Yep. Specifically raw mushroom stalks. Don't know. Stock down. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> um, generally, you're not supposed to wash mushrooms because they are very porous and they absorb water and go all funny. So if there's dirt on your mushrooms, you're supposed to just brush it off. That being said, for the average person, you can totally wash off your mushrooms. Yeah, it, it won't destroy them. It just will make them not quite as pleasant. If you're doing a meal where you're going to be simmering them for two hours, they it doesn't matter quite, quite as much how you clean them. Very dirty. That one's going in water. <laughs> As we just mentioned. I will chop those up in a moment. Do you want. What was that? I was actually going to chop the mushrooms before I do the spicy pepper. Ah, true. Um, um, um. It doesn't technically call for pepper. It says you can if you want. We used red pepper on the other recipe, a bell pepper, because that's what we had. But we don't have that anymore, so we're using an Anaheim. Because that's what we have. And it'll be fine. Yep. The Anaheims are good. Anaheims are delicious. Let me cut the stalks first. How large would you like these to be? By the same size as yesterday's mushrooms. Which is probably slightly smaller than those. Although it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's my mistake, but. Ow. <laughs> Mm 
the recipe is supposed to be rustic. That means not done right, right? Rustic means big chunks of things. Yes. That's deconstructed is means I messed up this recipe and wanted to fix it. I miss cutthroat kitchen. <laughs> So I liked it a lot better than I did. I bring that up because the judges on that show would always, any time someone called it a, de a dish deconstructed, would actually call them out on it. It's like, so you so weren't you able to do the dish you wanted to do, but you tried anyways. Cut that one again. So is that about as much? Mushrooms as we did that yesterday. is as much mushrooms as we did yesterday. Okay, that's so probably we'll enough. Do this one because I want slightly more, but we'll keep these. That's, yeah. For you to eat later. Because the mushrooms were delicious. In it. He just picks them out, but I eat them and they're good. It's uh, so because mushrooms are tasty, but I can only have so much mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Darn, very mild mushroom allergy. I'm getting there. When does the garlic go in? Oh, right, you have to chop that too. Mm -hmm. That's the fridge. I forgot. What step does the garlic go in with on the recipe? The garlic goes in with the red pepper flakes after the onions and the anchovies. So oh, the anchovies you... are also in the fridge. Okay. I suppose I can just set them out so we don't accidentally forget them. <laughs> yes. It's surprisingly difficult at the moment to come by a tin of anchovies. Yeah, we had to order the tin on Amazon because our local grocery store apparently just doesn't carry anchovies anymore. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, they're the saltiest thing on earth and not particularly good eaten by themselves. But, you know, in stuff, they're good. Yeah, was... <laughs> tried one of them on their own yesterday because I've never tried just a plain anchovy before and I was very surprised. <laughs> And unhappy. No, it wasn't bad. It was just a lot. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, so I want these smaller than last time. I want smaller to actually chop time. these like that. Yeah. <clears throat> They're a firmer pepper anyway, so smaller is better. Yeah. They go with the onion. So I'll put them in Shall the salad bowl. Yep. So I suppose we haven't actually listed all the ingredients yet. Uh, it might be a good idea to do that. Okay. Onion, pepper, mushrooms, anchovies, garlic, red pepper, wine, chicken thighs, tomatoes, and a pan. <laughs> so three garlic cloves? Yeah, that that was fine. And the wine doesn't really matter which type what type of wine you use. Yesterday or yeah, yesterday we did red wine. Today we're gonna try this with white wine. And when cooking with wine, you don't need to use the good stuff. Uh, these little Sutter Home bottles are great for cooking. <laughs> Not the best, like, cost value thing, but uh, since I don't drink wine generally, and Jessie can't drink so much with her meds, we buy the tiny ones to the cook with. Ones. That way you don't have to open an entire bottle and then have to plan what to cook it with over the next week before it goes bad. I am cutting the garlic a bit smaller today. Just chopping the garlic is fine. Doesn't need to get minced or anything. And a quick note, 
uh, if you'll notice the ease at which she's chopping garlic, this is pickled garlic, so it's exceedingly soft compared to normal garlic. It will not be this easy if you have yes. actual garlic. <laughs> this is an illusion. Well, it's also great knives. <laughs> yeah, that too. The Kaiko knives help. Yes. Having it would be almost that easy, just not that easy. It's so easy. <laughs> okay. So that should be all of the chopping. Okay. Give me a second to wash my hands off. And then we will move the camera over there so that you can actually see the skillet. Yes. So give me a moment. Oops. Let's move that out of the way. Change it to... Moving the camera. I am very glad that I learned how to do this. Do, 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 do. One second, don't change it back yet. Okay, now. Tilt it down a little farther, there and also turn on, turn on the light on it. Light. Whoosh. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so to start with, olive oil in pan. Yes. Eh, a glug or so of olive oil. Glug being, you know, a very technical term. Pan on medium high. Um, actually, while that is happening, can you salt the mushrooms? Slightly. You salt them before Or no, I... Went? Actually, no, I salt no. the chicken before it goes in. Well, you put the chicken in and then you can salt it while it's in, I suppose. Yes. It says sprinkle salt on chicken, brown chicken. Okay. Well, we'll just do it the way we did it last time. Then. Yeah. You can just sprinkle it with salt after it's in the pan. Or you could put salt in the pan before you put chicken. I could. That is actually a great idea. That actually does work. Just gotta let the pan get hot. You always want a hot pan when you are browning food. Uh, That's gonna help too. Good call. When you're searing food, you want a hot enough pan that you have the, a uh, small concern that your house might burn down. Sizzle, 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 goes the salt. It calls for um, skin on, bone in chicken, but we don't like that, or rather Matt doesn't like bones and I don't like skin, so we just have normal chicken thighs. But we're not put, we, we're not trimming them or anything, because it's all just going to be delicious and yes. rendered anyway, so. All of the fat on the chicken thighs rendered out. Do you want to do a little sprinkling on the top as well? <laughs> this recipe is the most added salt. Yeah, you don't add salt to things generally. Mm -hmm. You can just do the rest of the salt onto the mushrooms. So off screen, Jesse has salted the mushrooms. I'm gonna give apparently you that steals the water from them and makes them absorb whatever they are cooking in, which in this case will be chicken fat and deliciousness. I will need a bowl for the chicken fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, that'll work. And three to four minutes of browning. Well, you want it actually brown. So however long it takes to get the bottom side actually brown. Three to four minutes did it last time. Yeah. I'll check it. Brown it and then set it aside. Some good looking chicken. Some tasty sounding chicken. Tasty too. sounding chicken. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Mm. 
So with the tomatoes for this recipe, it calls for whole tomatoes, like canned whole tomatoes. We're going to be using some tomatoes that I actually canned myself last year. Uh, that are mostly whole. That are mostly whole. But because this dish cooks on low for a long time, you want the whole tomatoes so they don't just dissolve. There will actually be some tomato bits left after two hours if you use whole ones. Dice, not so much. going to need another minute when that's done. So about five minutes looks like is what it's going to be for browning the chicken. <laughs> the microphone definitely picks up the uh, sizzling sound rather nicely. Mm the temperature down just a little bit before the mushrooms go in so that this doesn't try to murder me. I'm gonna flip one over. You can maybe it's this sort of brown. Yeah you can actually see the char marks or the browning marks on it. <laughs> squeeze as we squeeze. Those on in. Uh, an actual spatula. spatula? Yes. <laughs> if only there was some type of tool for the job I'm doing. Let's see what's available. Spoon would probably be best. So the lightly salted mushrooms go in. They're going to change color a bit and lose a bit of their liquid and soak up the chicken liquid, which I'm gonna dump back in there. And yeah. Yeah, there we go. Teamwork. <laughs> You want the mushrooms to soften up a bit and change color a bit and just look amazing. The directions say, cook until the water from the mushrooms has evaporated. I don't really understand that direction, so whatever you did yesterday worked fine. <laughs> <laughs> so browning mushrooms properly should really be done in a stainless steel pan. I didn't want to get another thing dirty for this recipe. And why should it be done in a stainless steel? Because Alton Brown says so. <laughs> Apparently. Yes, but he gives reasons for things. Do you remember what the reason is? Uh, the the, the non-stick coating just uh, interferes with one of the processes or something. <laughs> 
So no, but that's okay. No, like Alton he, Brown says so. Is a perfectly reasonable yeah. answer? It was an offhand thing that he said on uh, Worst Books. I know. And that was like, I don't even know how long ago that was. I think that was in the before time. These are bigger pieces, so they These take are. Longer. They are going to take a little longer. That's okay. That's okay. Cooking mushrooms smell delicious. That they do. That they do. Huh? Thank you for the compliment, person in the chat room. <laughs> we, do, we do one of these cooking shows every... Sunday starting at 5 Eastern. And then all of the videos end up on the Knife Gentleman page, or on uh, YouTube afterwards. I haven't been the best about uh, putting those up right away. I'm trying to get better about that. <laughs> and yes, I am a dude. <laughs> to answer the question. Certain microphones do not... Uh, Pick up my voice. People call him ma'am on the phone so, so much. much. <laughs> the mushrooms have uh, shrank slightly. See, that's them losing their water. Mm -hmm. And they are absorbing the oil very nicely. Move into camera frame. <laughs> Okay, I think these are just, the mushrooms are just about done. Okay, they come out into a bowl. They come out into a bowl. And then the onion and peppers are going to go in. Or the shallots and peppers, as the case may be. Definitely less volume than an actual onion. This is a small onion worth of yeah. shallots. And those cook for 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes. And it is okay if the onions or shallots burn ever so slightly. You don't mm -hmm. have to be really good about moving them around. I like, yes, I like to just keep moving them around just because because I have ADHD <laughs> and just staring at something is, uh, what do you call it? Pleasant? Well, I mean, just staring at something and not doing anything with oh, it cooking unpleasant. is unpleasant. Yes. <laughs> you prefer action. Yes. Great action cooking. Something to discuss for 10 minutes. I know, right? Hope that wherever you are, where you're watching, the weather is treating you better this week than last week. Yeah. That's really a statement that applies anytime someone listens to this. <laughs> Hope that life in general is treating you better this week than last week. Yeah. And that things are always on an upswing. I am flattening out the shallots a bit, uh, breaking them up into the ring segments. 
They did go in frozen, so they are going to, you know, yeah. not start cooking for a bit. Uh, they're Because I cut them up small, they're heating up real fast. Yeah. Onions. You mean mushrooms? mushrooms? Delicious mushrooms. Uh, it's been a long day. Let's see, what's the text? Your text say? Oh, uh, we have a. Uh, I've got the Twitch mo auto moderation on. Mm. It just doesn't post certain things. Uh, mostly because I don't want to have to deal with actually paying it to, that much attention to chat while I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. Good idea. These are starting to do their thing now. I'm going to leave those be for a second and actually grab a drink of water. Yay, for flavored water. So next is just starting to, the next steps are just to add things back in. Yes. After the onions are cooked. The anchovy filling. You add anchovies. It says five to six anchovies. Although however many you want, honestly. Um, we only have like five or six left from the tin. So I'm yeah. just going to drain the water and then dump it. It's them. oil. We can just dump it in. Uh, it's going to be super anchovy oil, isn't it? It's fine. It's olive oil. All right. You can say so. I um, do say so. Add anchovies, add garlic, and a pinch of red pepper flakes. Cook for half a minute. Pour in two cups of wine. Scrape the bottom of the pan. Add tomatoes, add chicken and <laughs> mushrooms, and then put on a lid, bring to a simmer, and then drop the heat to the lowest your oven is capable of being on, and then cook for two hours. Two to three hours, depending two to three on how hours. Depending on how low your heat setting could be. Our oven is not capable of keeping it below a simmer, so Actually, we I only did two. Hypothetically, I could use this back burner, which is the smaller, smaller one, but eh. it was fine. With it it was too. fine last time. Look at that. Salad's starting to brown. Mm -hmm. We might have to stop before 10 minutes. No, the they're still, they're fine. The consistency of the normal onion and red pepper was a lot closer together yesterday in yesterday's batch than mm, these. True. But the peppers definitely want the 10 minutes to go again. Yeah. How is the weather outside, Jesse? Gray. Gray. Yeah. We were kind of amazed at how quickly all of our snow went away. Mm -hmm. We had so much snow last week, and now it's all gone. It all got rained out. Uh, and it was windy the other day. That and, and warm. Yeah, and warm and windy. Look at that. It looks like I know what I'm doing. I'm thinking we probably don't want to add red pepper. It's up to you. We like to use Aleppo pepper for any uh, recipe that calls for red pepper flakes. 
It's got all the flavor of red pepper flakes without the heat. It is up to you, Jesse, if you want to use the Aleppo with this. I don't know, the Anaheim smells spicy enough. It's okay. not really spicy, but I think it's just a different spice profile and it would be weird with Aleppo in there as well. Okay. Although we should add some black pepper. We did not do that the other day. Okay. Just a sprinkle of black pepper. That is, those. if you would like to do that, you can. You've got four minutes left. You might want to add some olive oil to that pan. That will help keep things from uh, just a smush. <laughs> there you go. There we go. The oil that the anchovies were packed with. Yeah, that's gonna help. The, the shallots don't have as much moisture to release as the onions did, so it's a little drier. Well, it's partly because they were frozen. Yes. <laughs> I have a giant bag of shallots in the freezer because I just ordered a lot of shallots from our local farm to share a thing and just peeled them all, cut off the ends, and froze them whole. So you can just reach into the bag and grab some shallots when you need to. Break some shallots off the hunk and cook with them. Very convenient. Do you want me to call these done? Yeah, I think you should call those done okay. before they burn. Okay, so anchovies go in now. Anchovies and garlic. Okay. Here. Spread those around. It's going to cook for half a minute, but that's when they're using actual garlic. Well, I'm still going to cook for half a minute to break up the anchovies as well. Yeah. Why am I shaking these? I have no idea. I'm too used to soy milk. You have to shake it every time you want to use it. Okay. Wine and the uh, tomatoes will go in. Yep. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yep, that's good. Okay. We glaze, scrape off all the bottom bits. It says two cups. And since these little bottles are just under a cup, we're using two. Okay, you might need a, a grippy hand for the Tomato? tomatoes. Nope, nope. Okay, real quick before we. Yep, smells like tomatoes. That's tomatoes. Waterier than the can yesterday. Do you want me to leave out some of it? No, that's fine. fine. Okay. Tomatoes. Sorry. This, uh, that is a couple of cherry tomatoes and some heirloom tomatoes and one big tomato. I put kind of a mixture. Ooh, hot mushroom can. I put kind of a mixture into each of our tomato Stir that cans. Up you... And I'm actually going to move it to the smaller burner. There we go. Did you want to put in a little bit of uh, black pepper? Yeah, just a second. There it is. I'm trying to get the chicken. Here, just. Like that? Yeah. I'm trying to get all the stuff. Here, let, me, let me move it over. Okay, so now we bring it back up to a simmer. I changed burners because this one is a smaller gas output. Smallest one's over there. Yes, and I don't don't want to use the smallest one. I'd rather do what we did yesterday. Didn't we do it on that one yesterday? Yeah, we did. So oh, so the, the other, there is one other bit of instructions. Uh, so it, it wants to cook for two to three hours uh, on the lowest heat setting after it comes to a simmer. Gonna come down. There we go. On the lowest heat setting after it comes to a simmer, 
45 minutes before you intend to serve it, you want to add in just a sprinkling of rosemary and a sprinkling of thyme. If you add it in at the beginning, uh, it will completely overpower the dish, but leaving it till most of the way done cooking, it'll be very tasty. Or whatever herbs you want, honestly. So that is up at a light simmer now. So I'm going to put the lid back on and turn it to low, to low. without letting it extinguish itself without. and suffocate us. So yes. That'll work. That will work. So now we're just going to let that cook for another uh, two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> Pepper. But uh, let's put it down again. Thank you again for joining us and next week uh, we'll be making conch next plan. week is the plan so yeah fritters. conch fritters but yeah mm. see you later out there <laughs>